Uh, this one's a bit hard to do without stains. It would be easier to show with stains. This is nail, right? So it's a biopsy of at the edge of the nail here. The matrix will be kind of like down underneath here, although I think this is probably to the side a little bit. And this was probably for a pigmented streak in the nail, linear um, melanonychia. And then here, it's a little hard again without on um, this case to show, but I, if we did a SOX or a MART, all these cells would be melanocytes. And there are more of them scattered along the basal layer here with occasional pagetoid spread. And they're not super ugly, but they're not normal looking either. They're enlarged. And I think that nail and melanocytic lesions are very challenging to evaluate. I really struggle with these. And I have often sent these to experts uh, uh, to look at because I find them hard. But in this case, in addition to the nail, the uh, next slide shows the skin right next to the nail. And I think it gets a little bit easier here. We've got a lot of pigment. But also, look at this, very atypical junctional melanocytes. All these vacuum, these are all melanocytes in here, and they're going down and up the reedy. They're confluent, right? And they're enlarged and atypical. We can even see a junctional mitosis in one of them right here. Sometimes it's hard with junctional mites to know, are they really in a melanocyte or are they in a keratinocyte? But right here, there's so many melanocytes, I think it's probably in a melanocyte, and they're very hyperchromatic, right? So they're atypical and they're confluent. So this is acrolentigenous melanoma in situ, and in this case, it had involvement of the nail. But here, this is this is it extending onto the adjacent skin. Um, I don't know if this is actually a lateral nail fold or where exactly, I don't, I don't recall this, the details of this case. So this was an acromelanoma.